So this is the Traveler's Palm or Ravenella madagascarensis. And as you can tell by the species name, it is native to Madagascar. And here you can see a planting of them in Hawaii. And this is actually not a palm at all, but it's actually more related to a banana or a bird of paradise. And these are quite mature specimens. As you can see, they're already trunking. But when they're small, they actually uh, don't have a trunk at all. And they start their growth, uh, their leaf bases right near the ground. Uh, this is a fairly large plant that requires a lot of space. It can grow up to 50 feet high and have a span of 30 feet or so. So you really do need the space for them. Uh, so the reason it's called a traveler's palm is because the shape of the uh, leaves and the stems going down towards the trunk tends to collect rainwater and then the rainwater will collect in these grooves uh, right near the uh, right near the trunk so at the base of the leaflets so I guess travelers in Madagascar would uh, look to that point to collect water on their journeys and hence the name Traveler's Palm. So there's always a lot of water uh, in those in those uh, leaf bases. If you look up there you can also see some some uh, flowers. So you can see the flower resembles that of a uh, bird of paradise flower. Very similar shape. So these do well in zones 10 and up. They really do need the heat and the humidity and the moisture. They do not like to get cold. They do not like frost at all. And as you can see, these are pretty wind battered. So all the leaflets are a bit tattered, but that's pretty uh, commonplace in uh, tropical areas. So this is the traveler's palm. Ravelina Madagascarensis.